So what is good YouTube? It's your boy Legendary EA. We are back here for another episode of the Thunder franchise. Right now we're 46 and 23. You guys already know if you guys enjoyed the series, like it up, subscribe. Uh, the playlist link is in the description below. The next episode will drop at 100 plus likes. And you guys are you guys are doing the squad. Right now we have the number one team in the West. We're 43 and 23 tied with Memphis to be real with you. We're still a really, really good team. The only team better than, than us is the Hawks. Uh, we're going to take it on Philly. This will probably be the, the last regular season game. Uh, and we'll probably get into the playoffs. Like I said before, I'm not sure if I want to make this the last season. It really just depends because our team is really, really good. But Philly got Mike Conley, Josh Richardson, Ben Simmons, Daniel Gallinari, Joel Embiid, the bench to it, Tobias Harris. This guy's been balling out in real life. Uh, yeah, solid bench as well. I'm not going to lie. We let's just see what we can actually do. Is he, what? He's an 86. All right, says that he's hurt. He's an 86. I don't even know who Buddy is, but let's get straight into this game, man. I think we can beat them. Like they don't have the best seating, but they're they're low key a really really solid team. Up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony. Chris Weber is here, our sideline reporter, the Hall of Famer David Aldridge. And with us tonight, basketball expert Bill Simpson. Bill, you look great. Thank you for being here. I'd like to say hi to all the people who traded for Anthony Davis and the GM mode of this game yes. to get him on their team right. when their real team couldn't pull it off. Congratulations. I can't believe you pulled the trade off. GA, it's all yours. Well, Ben Simmons was the top-rated player in high school and in college. With a fractured bone. He sure has first NBA All-Star ever out of Australia. Thanks, David. Bill, you look at the career path of Kevin Durant. Some guys want to be the man. Other guys want to be a significant part of a bigger picture. He can play a lot of different roles. And I think, and he's so good, that's what makes him so, I think, uh, compelling. Right, he is a guy that can fit into any system. All right, so getting straight the into the gameplay, let's see what we got. Like I said before, man, this probably will be the last regular season game. Um, we'll probably be doing the playoffs in the next video. Uh, I have even discussed that this might be the final season of this series. It really just depends. I've heard people say in the comments, do the Grizzlies, do the Warriors. I've seen all that stuff in the comment section below. So we'll actually decide, man. I mean, the Grizzlies make sense. The Warriors, let's be real. Once I get Stephen Clay back, and we already got D'Angelo, that's going to be hella easy. But let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Uh, yeah, I, I think the one problem with this team is just that we got too many alphas on this team. Like, we got Kevin Durant, Jaden, all those guys, and it's just too many alphas, man. I mean, KD in this game, I ain't going to cap. He carried us. Like, he had our first 10 points. Everyone else was pretty bad. This man straight carried our asses, bro. Like... And that's nice to have, but I think with the next rebuilding team I do, I'm not going to be doing that. Like, it's nice to have one superstar player and then a supporting cast because at least everyone knows their role. But on this team, we got Jaden McDaniels, who last year was amazing. He was an all-star. We brought in Kevin Durant, which might have been a bad move. Uh, we have Jalen Green. We have Imani Bates. All those guys can be the superstar and best player on, on their own team and probably do really, really well. Uh, but, yeah, I think that we would have probably have done better if we did not sign Kevin Durant and we just added any money base from the draft because I ain't gonna lie man like right now we, we got too many mouths to feed on the squad way too many mouths mouths to like feed <laughs> but that's just a food for thought regardless for the playoffs I do want to change things up I've mentioned the small ball lineup that's probably coming into effect I mean a lineup where either like money base has to play man he plays too good whenever he's in the game so we'll probably be running him or Kevin Durant at center the other one plays power forward Jaden McDaniels at small forward Jalen Green and then Shea or even we could run Denny at point guard. Like, he's a really, really good passer. He's like 6'9", 6'10"-ish, 6'7", regardless. This man is a bucket, and he can pass. And that would overpower anybody that we come and face in the playoffs. Uh, unless they have, like, a Joel and B-type center because they would just body whoever we put there. But we can still beat them with athleticism and all that good stuff. So let me know what you guys think about that. I mean, one pro about having Denny coming off the bench is that that gives up scoring. Like, that gives a, a lot of scoring. Here's Imani Bates with a nice little put back. I'm telling you, he's so good. But, yeah, the one pro of having Denny come off the bench is that he's, he's such a good scorer and such a good shooter. But if we can have him in a certain lineup, maybe help Shea. Like, Shea's a good defender. Like, I guess the only con is that having Denny in a certain lineup means Shea, Zaire, and Isaiah Todd come off of the bench. And that bench, I don't know how many buckets 
that bench is getting. Zaire has shown that he's really efficient. But we haven't really taken a lot of shots with him. So we'll see how that comes. Regardless, I do like the small ball lineup. We might not get a lot of rebounds, but let's be real. Whenever Steven Adams and, I and Isaiah Todd are in the game, they aren't getting that many rebounds anyways. So we might as well beat everybody with our athleticism and just beat everyone in transition with three small forwards and two guards. Like, that actually might be the move. Let me know what you guys think about that as Kevin Durant catches a body and a one. Regardless, man, just let me know what you guys think about this series. I've heard all y'all's suggestions. Like I said, most people are saying doing the Grizzlies or the Warriors. The Hawks might be entertaining as well. I mean, at least we got Trey Young there. Like, we got Trey Young, we got John Collins, we got a nice little base to start off with. That would be interesting. Um, what are some other teams, man? I don't want to do the Knicks. I just did I just did the Knicks. I'm not doing them again. Hmm. Hmm. Give me some ideas in the comment section below. But regardless, man, I really, really enjoyed this team. Here's Imani Bates again. I'm telling you, bro. He's too good. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Philly is whooping us badly. <laughs> like, they are whooping us badly. We still got a lot of things to work on. Like I said, man, we got too many alphas on this team. Every once in a while, it's nice to have, like, a few good supporting role players and one star. Because that is one of the problems that we have faced this season. And I ain't going to lie. It ain't been all that fun. Well, we're going to have to figure it out whenever the playoffs come for show. I ain't going to lie. This team is, like, we, we are playing terrible. We're down by 20 points in the fourth quarter. The only player playing good is Kevin Durant. And Imani Bates. I mean, Durant is 15-23, 38 points. Imani Bates off the bench in 18 minutes has 26 points on 9-14 shooting. Zaire Wade is even doing all right. Like, our bench is playing better than the starters. Zaire Wade has 11-10 and 10 on 5-7 shooting, 50% from, from the three. Shea got on assist. Denny, eh. Jaden is horrible with three of two. <laughs> Jalen Green has only shot the ball twice, so we got to get him involved more. But the team is playing terrible. Joel Embiid is getting easy buckets. Honestly, I think this is the time for us to test out our death lineup. He can have that. I was trying to, like, adjust. Okay, I guess he, he can hit it, whatever. Yeah, it's time for us to try out the uh, death lineup. We're going to lose this game regardless. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh, wow. Give me that. There we go. But, like, we are playing terrible. <laughs> like, they are, they, they are clamping up all of our starters. And it kind of sucks because we just paid Shea. And I, I understand his numbers going down because we added Kevin Durant. But it's like he's not even efficient either. So, like, it's like a double L. But why'd you stop cutting? Easy money, money, 28. But, yeah, like, we, we just paid him, and he just became way less efficient. So, like, that's just a double L if you ask me. Like, his numbers going down is cool. Oh, get that out of here. Give me that. Please knock that down, Denny. Oh, we had a layup. Oh, why did I pass it? I tried to get the three, then he like stepped forward. Why? Is, okay. Shay, you are a good defender. I don't, I don't know what your fascination with, you know, like leaving everyone open, like <laughs> just leaving them wide open. But you might have got thirty. Is that a career high? Like he's killing y'all. Like I really want to start him and just try out this little death lineup. Like we're gonna be, like we are already getting out, out rebound. We are already getting out rebounded. So, like, why not add athleticism and scoring? Like, that's the way that I'm seeing it. It's like, why not add athleticism and scoring? Don't foul him. I mean, we're going to lose regardless. At this point, I'm just planning to get y'all some of my gameplay. But we losing this. What? Bruh. There was no need for that switch. There, there, there was no need for it. Like, I was right. There was no need for that switch. And one. Dude, this man is turning up, bro. Jay only got 10 on a horrible efficiency. But Imani Bates is turning up. Boy, is turning up. Come on. All right, well, now they, they put in the bench, which pretty much they are conceding. We took a mad L. We lose 154 to 138. Kevin Durant with 40 points. Imani Bates with 35 and 3. Boy, was amazing, let's be honest. Denny with 14 and 4. Zaire with a good game, 11 and 10. And everybody else was just really, really bad for them. 
Tobias Harris with 28. Ben Simmons with 27, 8, and 6. Joel Embiid with 27 and 14. We got a lot of things to work on, man. I still want to try out that little death lineup that I was talking about and that I keep talking about. But, look, we got a lot of things to do with this team before we get into the playoffs. I mean, no matter what, I still think that for the playoffs, we can get this stuff together. We're just going to have to go ahead and wait and see. But, I mean, other than that, make sure you go and like this video. And, of course, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace, y'all.